Hi guys! I wanted to film another video. It's been two weeks and I'm not in my usual setting so this is a little bit of a different environment uh, so I'm not at my home but I still wanted to catch up and film another uh, video regarding phrases. So the, the last video that I filmed was about idioms and phrases and this one is going to be a continuation. Um, I also want to say uh, for, for all my Asian students please stay safe in this um, time of pandemic now. Um, so follow all the guidelines that your government is giving you. Um, if you know English, uh, now is the time to use it. Uh, read international data, read uh, foreign news, uh, get information from, from different sources. Um, English, of course, should be used in much happier times, but again, um, in the time of crisis, again, you can use your English to get informed. So without further ado, let's go into the phrases or idioms actually. So for the, today's video, I have a few idioms here. The first one is your guess is as good as mine. So this is commonly used when you want to say that you agree with somebody, somebody because you don't have any other information. So I know as much as you basically. Um, the next one is you can say that again. Uh, this one is used to confirm other person's information. So um, if you agree with somebody, you say, you can say that again, uh, which means um, I support fully what you're saying. So if you hear any noise in the background, this is the old computer making um, some sounds. Um, okay, the next one is uh, wrap your head around something. Uh, this is usually a very um, exciting information or very troublesome information that you cannot fully understand. Uh, it's basically like wrapping your mind, wrapping your thoughts around an idea that is not uh, fully understood by you. So um, it can be a, a positive and a negative idiom. So the next one is to make matters worse. Uh, this is basically something that is coming into the situation that is additionally making the situation worse um, and sometimes you can make the matters worse by saying something or doing something. So the next one is to get bent out of shape. Um, this basically means that something is so hard for you um, that you basically have to do more than you can and you get bent out of shape because of that reason. So far, so good. This means, for now, um, the situation or um, the project that you're working on is uh, okay. Um, the next one is pull yourself together. This is uh, very useful for the whole situation that we are in now. So pull yourself together means just stop panicking and use your head, use your reason, and stand up to the situation that you are in. Um, call it a day. This is also useful. So for all of you who are working um, in a very crowded spaces, you should call it a day. It means finish your work and go home and you can work from home as well. Um, wouldn't be caught dead. I wouldn't be caught dead walking around at night, for example. So this is something that you wouldn't do like in your craziest dreams. Um, something that that is really a no for you. Um, and the last one is to steal someone's thunder. Uh, so this basically means when somebody is doing something very good and he's or she is being... Um, recognized by the public, you can do something to to kind of take the spotlight out of that person and steal the thunder to become important because of somebody else. Blow out of proportion. Uh, this means that you take um, a problem or um, an event. Um, it's usually used in a negative context, so and by speaking about it, you make it worse. So you're blowing this thing that is essentially really small out, out of proportion, so you're making it bigger than it is. Last one is use your head, which basically means to think. 
So be reasonable, be rational, be logical, and use your thinking instead of your emotions. So use your head. Okay, so that would be all for today. This is gonna be a short video. In the next one, I am probably going to be talking, I wanted to talk about tourism, but I figured this is not the best moment to talk about it because traveling is not the best idea at this moment. So I will leave a travel for some other video, um, but I will come with you with a very interesting uh, topic in the next one. Please wash your hands. Um, and stay out of public places. At least that's what they told me in my country. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, yeah, stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys.